Hey YouTube, um, I recently made some persimmon wine. And what I did wrong was I took and ran it through a grater, which shredded it, the persimmons, about the consistency of hash browns. And then I let it sit in the fermenter um, longer than I should have. And basically what happened is the alcohol levels increased. It broke down the fibers of the persimmons. And it pretty much turned to mush. I put about 14 pounds of sugar in it. And increased the alcohol content to about 30%. So this is my primary fermenter. I've already racked it a couple times and I put it back into the uh, this primary fermenter again. Um, when you take the lid off of this you can actually see the alcohol content is so high that you can actually see the alcohol bubbling and evaporating out of the wine. So with the problem of um, it having a lot of sediment, a lot of pulp, sitting in the bottom. I didn't want this wine to go to waste. I didn't want to just throw it out. So I've been racking my brain about how I could possibly filter this to filter out some of the pulp. And this is what I came up with. Let me show you down here. This is what I did. I put a spout, a spigot on here. And then I took a piece of inch and a half uh, clear acrylic and I put a couple of uh, carboy caps on there, one on each end, and a hose now going down into a, another fermenter jug. I took the cork out so I ran the half inch PVC hose right down to the middle to try to block out any bacteria that may get in there. Granted, I am in the bathroom, but I did sanitize my bathroom prior. And what I did was I took a pantyhose and I put it inside of there. And um, of course, I sanitized everything with the star sand and so you can see it's already starting to collect some of the sediment right there on top and the rest of it is going down the tube and into uh, this fermenter jug you see a little air, a couple little air bubbles going down there with the flow the flow is just pretty much a, a trickle at this point it was coming out stronger, but as the pantyhose begins to clog up, uh, the trickle slows down, of course. I've got the petcock turned, oh, maybe about one quarter of the way open. I don't know if you can see it flowing there, right here on the side. I'll try to increase it a little bit without hopefully without it uh, backing up my filter system so that's a little that's a little too much I think yeah it's coming all the way up to the top now I don't think that it would hurt anything if it did back up and you know fill the tube and everything all the way up because it's on a gravity feed and so I'm thinking that any sort of pressure would just continue to see it starting to drop again continue to to uh, push it through the filter system that I made there but I'm really surprised that the wine that's coming out the bottom the bottom tube, the discharge tube is actually clear so, I don't know how many different, probably a, 
a hundred or so different layers are built up here in this pantyhoe when you push it down into this, this inch and a half acrylic tube. So there's probably a couple hundred different layers there. So I'm really impressed by the results of this. So um, I'm going to check this in a couple hours and check and make sure that it's still flowing. And as long as it's still flowing, I'm not going to worry. I have a good feeling that right here in this filter system, it may back up with sediment. But I'm sure that the liquid is going to just go ahead and pass right through the, the pulp or the sediment. The pulp is actually what it is. It's going to pass right through the pulp and the pantyho is going to proceed to collect it or stop it and uh, filter the wine and continue to pass it through. and let it come out clear. So I'm not sure if there's even any YouTube videos out here out there that even show you anything like this. I know that they have a machine and it's got a, a square fiber filter that goes to the bottom of it. I've seen the filter but the brew place that I normally go to doesn't carry the machine because they say it's very expensive. So, I'm going to try this. Actually, this is the first time I've done it. So I'm going to go ahead and try this. It seems to be working great. And, um, and uh, if it does great, I mean, continues to, to do what it should, then I'll just go ahead and uh, bottle up this wine and seal it and put my labels on it and and store it away. But anyhow, here's an idea and a method that I use for filtering the pulp or the sediment out of your wine. I hope it helps.